Hey guys, it's Sanem, and today I am going to be doing an exciting video. So this one is going to be a full face using products that are four to five stars rated on Sephora. So these are highly rated, top rated products. These are products that I see basically probably the best products that you'll find at Sephora. I definitely want to do a Ulta version and a drugstore version, so like top rated drugstore products. However, in today's video, it's a Sephora one, and I'm telling you now, there are some amazing products in this video. I based this video off of Sephora's website. So what I did was go to the filter and I just selected top rated and then it gave me a list of all the top rated products. So most of these products are 4.5 stars and up. It's actually really hard to find a five star product on Sephora, but most of them are 4.5 or four stars borderlining 4.5 stars if that makes sense. Did I say that right? Either way, let's just jump straight into the video. So we are starting off with primer and the primer that I'm gonna be using today had four and a half or just about four and a half stars um, on Sephora. And this is the YSL Touche Clat Bleu Primer. This one is supposed to brighten and give the face a smoother appearance. And it has 24 karat gold flakes in there as well. So I saw this in the top rated um, section and I had it and I was like, let me use that. It is a pricey primer, but it really does um, smooth out the skin, especially if you have any rough areas. So next for brows, I'm gonna be using something that was very highly rated and this almost got five stars. It is literally borderline five stars on Sephora. And that is the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow Pomade. And I'm sure you guys know this. I have it in the shade Chocolate, which is a little brown or too warm for me, but I can make it work. I'm just gonna fill in lightly. You know, I don't do too much to my brows, but just to give them a little bit of color. I don't mind it being a little too warm for me because um, I don't like to use anything too dark for my natural hairs anyway. So for foundation, this actually got almost 4.5 stars and that is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This one is in the shade Gobi and yeah, love this foundation. So even I agree, like it needs to be 4.5 stars. Would I say five stars? Maybe. It definitely is one of my favorite high-end foundations. I love this because it literally gives you coverage. Look at the difference. And the glow it gives is super natural. So I definitely feel like a foundation like this can work for any skin type. So next for concealer, I am using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. This also almost got 4.5 stars and it really is a great concealer. I have the shade 30NN and I don't know, I just absolutely love this concealer. I didn't really think that I would like this concealer for some reason, but it's super creamy and it gives you a lot of playtime. And as you can see, it looks really fresh under the eyes as well, which I really love. And I can see why this is a highly rated concealer because they have an incredible shade range, like incredible. The Stay Naked line, the foundation and concealer is amazing. And then to set my under eyes, I'm using the Hourglass Translucent Powder, the Veil Translucent Powder. And Laura Mercier actually was higher than this, but I figured that you guys have seen Laura Mercier's translucent powder like everywhere. So I wanted to use this one in case you haven't seen it in action. So this is a great, great powder. Um, and at first I actually hated it, <laughs> but then the more I started using it, I just loved that it gave me a really smooth under eye. So to prime my eyelids, I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden, which looks like this. Not the original one, although the original one is also highly rated, but um, I wanted to use the Eden one because I don't have the original one. And I prefer this one anyway because it cancels out any redness, any darkness on the eyes. And for eyeshadow palettes, it's a tricky one because there were two palettes that both had a high rating. And I didn't know which one to use because you've probably seen both of them. 
So of course there were so many eyeshadow palettes that had a high rating, but I didn't have some of them. So I picked out the two that I do have, and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which mine is all kind of crusty. And then the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette, which was in my current favorites. This is the Just Peachy palette. And then the Modern Renaissance you guys have seen so many times. So I think I might play around with the Just Peachy palette because you guys have seen the Anastasia one a hundred times. And I also wanna use this eyeshadow, which is also highly rated. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Solstice. And it looks like this, it is like a duochrome blue, purple, pink. It's so pretty. And yeah, I just wanna put this all over my eyes. So I think I'll do a sort of like berry, toned eye look with this in the center. So I'm first gonna go in to peach tea, which isn't that warm. And this is just gonna be a light transition shade just to put into the crease, just to have a little bit of something to work against the other colors. Then I'm gonna be taking a little bit of Peach Sangria, which is this one right here. It's a nice berry. And I'm putting this just on the lower portion. So this color is really gonna make that um, Urban Decay eyeshadow really pop because it's got the same tone. So it's gonna work really nicely. Like that. Then with a small detail brush, I'm taking just ripe, which is a deeper purple. And placing this on the outer V. Almost drag it in so you have a sort of ombre effect and just build up the color. I'm taking a little bit of this and just coating the brush both sides and I'm using a synthet synthetic brush and let's just go right in. Okay, this is the most beautiful duochrome eyeshadow I've ever seen. Especially when you turn your head. Oh my God, I don't know why I don't use this more often. It really matches well with these sorts of berry tones. Next is mascara. I'm not gonna be using eyeliner because truthfully, I don't have any of the highly rated ones. Now, Kat Von D's um, tattoo liner is the most highly rated one, I believe. I'll have to double check, but it's definitely in that category. So if you have that, then that's one that you can use. Um, but yes, I don't have any eyeliners um, that are highly rated, that's four stars and above. But what I do have that's highly rated is a mascara, and this one is one that I literally love so much, and that is the Lancome Hypnosis or Hypnose Drama Mascara. It looks like this. I don't know what it does to the lashes, but it does wonders. I'm also gonna apply falsies. I found some on Sephora that's highly rated. But I don't know if they have the style on Sephora because I know Sephora has like limited styles or colors sometimes. So this is what it's looking like so far. And next I'm going into the Lily Lashes. This one is in the style Ella and they are the mink lashes. I did actually cut them up, that's why they look weird. So um, I cut them to be almost like half lashes because they were way too big for my eye shape. So I'm gonna be using just half of the lashes. Whilst I'm letting those dry, let's go into bronzer. Now for bronzer, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. I'm gonna bronze my face with this. It gives you a little bit of a sheen and it's just the perfect bronzer, I feel like. If you wanna contour, then probably not with this product because it is more of a bronzer than an actual contouring shade or product. Um, this is really just gonna give you a nice bronze, especially for someone like me who's super pale. I'm really glad that this was highly rated because I feel like it needs more love and more people need to discover this product. It's super smooth and buttery, glides onto the skin. It gives you a nice warmth without looking too harsh. I'm gonna blend it out anyway, but it gives you a natural bronzed look. 
For blusher, I'm using one that I haven't used in a long time, but it is also highly weighted, and that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blusher. I mean, who doesn't love these? I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the apples. And work my way back. And you can see it ties in with the look. Seriously, don't be afraid of bright colors, or I mean like bright blushes, because you can really tone them down. For highlighter, I'm using a liquid highlighter. This is the Do You Do Drops, and it is a coconut gel highlighter. And I'm gonna use a little bit on my finger. It looks like this. It's like a really pretty pale gold. I don't know if you can see that sheen. I'm just gonna apply this right here. And this one is really highly rated. I think everyone loves this because you can literally use it on the body as well, not just as a highlighter on the face, body, anywhere pretty much. Taking a little bit of Just Ripe and Peach Sangria and a little bit of peach meringue to brighten up the inner corner. And a little bit on the brow bone too. Now it's time for lips. So I have two lipsticks that I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. One is the Sephora Lip Creams and also the Tom Ford Lipsticks. So the Tom Ford Lipsticks are hella pricey, but it was highly rated. And as I have it, I kind of wanted to use it, but I don't know if the color will go with this look. So this one is in the shade Spanish Pink, which looks like that. It's uh, almost coral nude peachy pink. So let's see. I think it's gonna go. And these are super creamy and they make your lips look big. They literally make your lips look big. And I had lip balm on underneath, just FYI. So I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy, which is a really, really nice pinky, kind of mauvey pink, which I think would go nice with this look. And you already know, oh my God, it smells amazing. But you already know, these are the most highly rated glosses, not just on Sephora, but probably in the makeup industry. They are so good. I just love how shiny the eyes are. They look wet, even though it was just one eyeshadow. I'm telling you, if you had to get one thing, it's this Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow. They have so many different colors, but the one I have is Solstice for this duochrome wet look. And I didn't even wet my brush, so I love this. And of course, to finish off the look, I am using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And this one um, I love as well. And apparently so does everyone else, because you can use it as a primer, but also as a setting spray. The primer water just makes that highlighter come alive. This is the finished look. And I love this lip combo actually, it's really, really pretty. And the eyes, I think my top is kind of clashing, but let's just focus on the makeup for a second. That was everything on Sephora's website that was four to five stars, that was top rated, and I actually really love all of them. So let me know what you guys loved in this video or if you have any of these products as well. Like I said earlier, I definitely wanna do an Ulta version, like top rated products at Ulta, and also a full face of drugstore that's top rated as well. Of course, I should change my top next time because I feel like it's a little clashy but for now it will do and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video so as usual give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and that is it for me so i will see you guys all in my next video